Thursday, which is supposed to be my coming out party. Um, friends and family are here with me tonight. I want to come out and hug them. Um, I am I am by racial. <laughs> about the COVID thing, um, I had COVID, my wife had it. Uh, the best thing was, was not the stimulus checks that you get, or working from home, or any of the learning stuff at home. The best thing was um, losing it. my wife losing her smell and taste. <laughs> that way my bodily, actual bodily functions could, could, could operate with unencumbered <laughs> without the criticism of, of uh, sensitive nose. <laughs> um, that's some new stuff here. I, I just moved here to Utah about seven months ago from Pennsylvania. Anybody from Pennsylvania on there? No. <laughs> I've done this far. But um, there was more Black Lives Matter paraphernalia here in Utah that there isn't, even in Philadelphia. And you guys gotta really give yourselves a good hand because uh, you've made Utah safe for black lives. I feel very safe here. I'm not even afraid of the police here. And for a black guy to say he's not afraid of the police, you know, is, that's something. The only thing that's missing is black lives. <laughs> Priests didn't make me give up being an altar boy. It was Santa not showing up that night. But I shouldn't blame Santa though because I should blame my mother because uh, she led me to believe that an old white guy could come into my neighborhood in, in, in New York in the middle of the night <laughs> with a bag full of goods. Hey, that's my time, guys. Thanks a lot. Keep it going.